Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi. Today we will be learning about joint and combined variation and this will be the solving part. Okay, so um, we have three examples here for us today because I will not um, give you any more example because it's lengthy and at the same time it's just simply take note all the co all the variation problems will just simply be about you solving for the unknown okay and we have our prior skills that you need to have being identifying what is given identifying what is asked or what is the unknown and um sub uh, substitution and of course solving for the unknown okay so let's now do our first example being this one y varies jointly as x and z if your y is equal to 20 when x is equal to 2 and z is equal to 5 find y when x is equal to 10 and z is equal to 5 again the very first step is finding the formula equation and the formula equation would be very obvious it's on the very first statement of our problem y varies jointly as x and z so remember joint variation is basically multiple direct variation okay and then our first set of variables being our variable is y x and z the very first set that is given to us would be y is 20 x is 2 and z is 5 so that would be the first set first set would be your sub 1s y sub 1 is 20 x sub 1 is 2 and z sub 1 is equal to 5 okay the next set would be this one. So your y is unknown, so therefore that would still be your y sub 2. It's equals to unknown, hindi uh, mo siya alam. So let's leave it as blank without the question mark na. And then our x sub 2 is of course 10, and our z sub 2 is equals to 5. Okay, so we have these variables already. Let's try to solve for the very famous k. And k is constant for all the given sets of um, given okay so we have our unknown as our k so let's write it down here at the bottom k okay now solving for the k we need the first set always so we will have of course 20 so again our formula is this one huh? so we will replace all values of this one on this okay so we will have 20 is equals to k x is of course 2 and z is just simply 5 so why did we put a parenthesis because this one is multiplication and we cannot write this at, as like this one k25 it looks like k25 which is wrong okay let's solve for the k solving for the k this would be 10 okay and when you transpose 10 to the other side it would become division so we will have k is equals to so our k is already solved now k is equal to 2 now we go to the second set okay the second set would be y is unknown so we leave it as is y is equals to our k now is given so we have 2 times our x is 10 and our j is just simply 5 solving for y on this case would be 2 times 10 times 5 2 times 10 is of course 20 and 20 times 5 will give us 100 and y sub 2 is just simply 100 so you're done already because you are just simply solving for the unknown okay so it's just like an it's just like solving for direct and inverse variation with uh, we're in the direct and inverse variation are having multiple cases like the square of this the square root of that and so on okay so let's have our second example. I, I thought we will use up the whole space. Let's take up the space. Let's uh, write uh, no, generously on our space provided. Okay. Reading this one. Y varies directly as X and inversely as Z. So meaning we have three variables here. Y, X, and Z. So we will have set 1 for X, Y, X, and Z and set 2 for Y, X, and Z. So first, let's identify what is your formula equation. Y is equals to k. Again, this is directly as k, so k would be above, and inversely as j, so j would be below. First set, y sub one. Y is equals to twenty, so we have y sub one is equals to twenty. Our x sub two is equals to two, 
and our I know, why x sub 2 it's x sub 1 is equal to 2 and our z sub 1 is equal to 4 this is the first set this one this one and this one the second set would be after that would be yeah. y sub 2 is unknown um, x sub 2 is equal to 6 and z sub 2 is equal to 10 now let's solve for the very first um, thing that we need to solve for every variation it's the k Okay, so we will have 20 is equals to k which is unknown x is of course 2 and we have z is equals to 4 solving for the k we would we, it would be like this transpose the 4 so it would be times 4 4 times 20 is 80 k times 2 transpose this 2 on the other side this would be division this would be mul um no it's not division it's multiplication pala this would be multiplication and this one would be let me write the entire uh, multiplication and this one would be division okay so 80 divided by 2 the answer is 40 is equals to k so we have our k already almost half of the problem is already solved so we go to the second um set our k is 40 y is unknown y is equals to k is 40 our x is how many uh, how much is 6 and our z is just simply 10 okay so let's solve for this one 40 divided by 10 the answer is 4 right and 4 times 6 the answer is simply 24 so y is equals to 24 you see how easy is it to solve if you know the steps okay it's if you know the steps and you know how to multiply and divide okay it's very easy to solve for the uh, um, okay and last one we have our a varies jointly as b and c and inversely as e so let's solve immediately our const uh, i mean our what do you call this um formula equation a varies jointly as b and c so remember it would be jointly is a direct variation over because it's inversely as e and now let's identify our variables a sub 1 so our variables would be a b c and e so we will have our a sub 1 sorry let me write that properly a sub 1 okay and then we have b sub 1 c sub 1 and e sub 1 so we have this given okay and uh, set first set of va values a is 25 based on the given b is 5 based on the given c is 1 and e is 2 and, and as for the next set we have still a sub 2 b sub 2 c sub 2 and e sub 2 okay a is unknown a sub 2 is unknown so we leave it blank or as n b b sub 2 is 10 so n this one c is 2 and e is so we have this given values now first we need to do is solve for k solving for k would of course uh, w require you to take set 1 B set 1 being 25 is equals to k our b is of course 5 and our c is 1 all over e is simply 2 solving for k this would be 5 um, transpose this would be multiplication sorry Transposing this one would be multiplication. Um, this would give us 50 is equals to k times 5 because that is the thing that is left there. Okay, and then transpose this one, it would be division, giving us a k is equals to 10. k is equals to 10. Solving for the set, second set, we have our k as 10. So we will have second set a sub 2 is unknown. So a is equals to k is 10. Our B here on the second set is 10 and our C is simply 2 divided by 6 is of course uh, E is sub E is equals to 6. So we have 10 times 10 times 2 and our A would be 10 times 10 is just simply 100. 100 times 2 right 100 times 2 would be of course 200 
and we have 200 divided by 6. Let's divide 200 by 2, so we will get 100, and 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. We cannot divide this further, or I mean, we cannot divide this that will uh, have as a result of a whole number, so we will leave it as is 100 over 3. Okay? Again, we cannot have a whole number as an answer for 100 divided by 3. So that's why we left it as a fraction being A is equal to 100 over 3. And that would be your value for A sub 2 or your missing term. Okay? Then again, I told you guys that it's very important for you to have a strong um, background when it comes to substitution and solving and operations. Okay? So if you would want to learn on those things, you can check uh, other parts of my um, videos, other other videos that I have posted in my channel. So yeah, if you have any other questions, you can check the video again or you can chat me in our chat group. That would be all everyone. Thank you for listening and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you.